Hey guys, this is JNT. Welcome back to this extra feature of uh, The Legend of Zelda, Oracle of Ages, and Oracle of Seasons. We have finished both games. We've taken down Viran, Onox, and Ganon himself. And uh, now we're going to have a look at some of the uh, other things in the game, the secrets between the two games. And so first we're going to have a look at who we need to talk to to learn the secrets. Now since we started off in the Oracle of Seasons, uh, the people who tell us the secrets are in Oracle of Ages. Then we need to go back to Seasons, tell those secrets to specific people, uh, and we will get a special item which we'll then be able to transfer back to Ages. So, let's get started. Now the first person that we need to talk to is this woman that we have here just south of the main town uh, in the present. So uh, yeah, just south of the town next to the ember tree. Next, in the past we have a Sabrosian up on Rolling Ridge hanging out next to that um, mystery tree. There's a girl once again in the past uh, down just south of the town near the harbor and a Deku scrub, again in the past, um, down in the southwestern corner of the forest. Um, back in the present, there's a lady in Mayor Plen's house, back in town, who will give you a secret. Uh, a ghost in Knoll Graveyard, when you talk to him, he gives you one. There's a Goron up in the mountains in a cave. I think it's in the present, uh, but I'm not certain. And he gives you a secret. There's also a Sabrosian hanging out up in one of those mountain caves who also gives you a secret. This diver down next to the Zora village in the present has a secret for you. And finally, the great fairy who's uh, on top of the ruins of the second temple in the forest in the present. So that's all of the secrets. You talk to those ten people and you'll get uh, you'll get the secrets, the codes that you need to take back to the Oracle of Seasons. And they'll also tell you who you need to tell which secret to. And there's one other little thing that I want to show you guys. Since I played the Oracle of uh, Seasons first, and then I linked up to Ages. I can't show you this in play because um, I don't have it on uh, in this file. But if you beat the Oracle of Ages just as a single file, or if it's the first file that you play in a linked game, you'll actually get this little trophy. They remove the mermaid statue and put in a statue of Link about time we get something. Anyway, so that's all the secrets and uh, now we're going to head back to the Oracle of Seasons and actually get our special items. So I'll see you guys in a second in game. And we're back. So, um, let's get started with these secrets. The very first one, we actually have to dig behind this shop. Here we go, and we find some stairs, and we talk to this guy who... Did you need me? Yes. And we tell him the secret. Oh, a message from the old hag in Labrina. In that case, take my test. If you pass, I shall give your sword new power. Will you try? Sure. Then let me explain. In a moment, twelve beasts will appear. You must slay them all in thirty seconds. Without being slain yourself, of course. Got it? Sure. Then begin. Oh. Are these all snakes? Oh, no, we've got a moblin. Died. 
Die, Moblin. It took you 26 seconds. The hag has chosen well. As promised, I'll give your sword new power. We got the legendary Master Sword. I'll teach you a secret that will give this power to your sword in Labrina, too. And that's the new secret. I can repeat it. No thanks. Come back if you forget the secret. Oh, that's an important detail. When you um, learn a secret from someone, you actually don't need to go back to them to find it. You can go to the Maku Tree and come in here and talk to Faror, Oracle of Secrets, or just pick up this book, Faror's Memory. And it tells you the secret uh, in that game. So with that one, with that secret, we can uh, bring the Master Sword over to uh, Holodrum, to Oracle of Ages, or sorry, to Labrina. And um, in order to bring it over there, there's you just need to talk to Faror. But we'll, I'll show you guys that as well, once we've gotten all of these. So that was the clock shop secret. And the next one is the pirate secret. It's so quiet downstairs. Everyone's gone? We're the only ones left? Ah, uh, wrong guy. If I'd known the secret to being lucky, the boat wouldn't have sunk and I wouldn't have been left behind. Do you know the secret? Yes, I do. Then you're a lucky bloke. Teach me. wrong. What? Oh. Oh, whoops. Looked at the wrong one. That's better. Thank ye, now I'm lucky. I'd like to give you something lucky in return, but your luck seems to have run out. What shall we do? I, I know. Get 777 ore chunks. Sounds lucky, don't it? Then I'll share me luck with ya. Your ore chunks aren't so lucky. If you get 777, then you'll be lucky. Um, okay. So what we need to do is actually get 777 ore chunks. Um, okay, so that lets us find double ore chunks. And since I'm thinking that you guys probably don't want to watch me dig forever, uh, I'll be back in a second. Hey guys, we're back and I've got my 777 ore chunks. So let's get that uh, secret. Thank you, now I'm lucky. I'd like to give you something lucky in return, but your luck seems to have run out. What shall we do? Aye, I know, get 777 ore chunks. Sounds lucky, don't it? Then I'll share me luck with you. You have got 777 ore chunks? Wow, you're so lucky. Let me give you this lucky gift. We can now hold more bombs than before. I believe you can take 50 now. I'll teach you the secret for bringing your luck with you to Labrina. Got that? Yep. Come ask me again if you forget the secret. Well guys, we're pretty much out of time. So uh, next time we'll continue our trek through Holodrum and uh, use up some more of those secrets and get some more special items. So I'll see you guys then. Once again, I'm Jay on T. Bye.